Please. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. You got to do something. All right. Where is she? It's a sack out in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can find the lock. I'll do what I can. Put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. <laughs> oh, thank you again. You my guardian angel. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. Come on.
around here, strangers gotta cough up people. I'm done being kind. Last warning. I hear you. You about to... Can't believe that worked. Yeah, well, we don't got time to celebrate. Come on. So, what's your plan anyway? Plan? Plan not to get caught. It Stay ain't up, my problem. Up.
Something useful then, you lazy bastard. Is that blood on you or just red paint? It's all good. Calm down. You're a strange fella. Yeah. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train? Pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Let's go, girl.
It's well worth the price. You know, a horse can tell when you're using a cheaper saddle. Oh yeah, that's a smart choice for your saddle. I can't tell you how many times I use that one. Make this horse prettier than you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, that's a good match. I missed that nag. Real good one. Well done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm gone. Please. Everyone deserves a second chance. Come on. Please. Mother of God!
pretty good a hundred years ago mr. Morgan. yes miss Grimshaw mr. Matthews gave me a message for you he said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch he's looking at a few business things there okay oh, he'll find something too he always does will you be well now mr. Morgan I'm always well miss Grimshaw but the old world was worse our job our job is to make a better world for ourselves not go backwards but go forward john and get on good and you got everything we need good i think we need another man charles i'll go get him meet us at the wagon when you can sure See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <sighs> I don't believe for one minute that you ever made it to Australia. Well, man, you'd be right. I never did. But I tried. I made it as far as Chicago. Chicago ain't nowhere near Australia. No, but it's on the way. I always want to see one of them kangaroos. Dying boxing rats who keep their babies in their pockets. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. What kind of lunatic thought that of? <laughs> That's an interesting way of seeing things. Maybe. We'll head over there one of these days, huh? Yeah. Start a new life as kangaroo farmers. Well, there's a dream we ain't had yet. <laughs> hey, if you could give me some leather working tools. I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. All right, I'll see what I can do. Appreciate it, Pearson. Hey, Arthur, come here a minute. What is it? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <laughs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. 
please? <laughs> okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you. Oh, hi, Butch. Morning, dear. How do you do? Good morning, Arthur. Hello, Pearson. Mm. I just wanted to say... I'm sorry about your husband. You're home. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure, you're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. First, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Fish on the line. See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. 
Look, Jack. It's a rock bass. Yeah, it's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. This one's a chain picker. Not bad. Got a stick at things, Jack. I know. I like the look of that spot. This is sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> yeah, I know. Born as hell. But then something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And Try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Whoop, think I got one. I see, I see. What? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. You have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> this 
getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Come on, girl. Yep. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because... Well... Because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt them. What did they mean about Max? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. And I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. I just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. You can do better than that. I, I just said hello. Take it easy. I'm just needling you. All right, Arthur. You play your game.
It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, yeah? Grow up. Hey, let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future, in all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. If they see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, you had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. They're left here, towards Rhodes. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Oh, so I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now. In the gunner's sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Yeah. So, we got the tracks with the wagon then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, 
Secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Mr. Marston? Mr. Smith? Mr. McGuire? Ha! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Get up there. Finish up here. Join us on board. Go on! Get on there! Hey. Foster. All yours, Captain. Well, go on ahead. Ah. Everybody stay calm and sure. don't let you oh. get shot. And don't go. It. Everything you got. Money. Valuable. Stop it. There you go. Get Let's robbed. make this quick, people. Come get on. Everything you got. You leave until this bag's full. I don't need all your money, my friend. I ain't Got got nothing. Problem. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo money? and Juliet here? Nothing else. Make me hurt you. What's the problem here? Money! <laughs> don't do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay! Come on. Okay! In the bag, God everything you got! Amy, what you keep got, it coming, Mr. don't you shy. People like you make me sick! Empty you seem to think we're playing game! Be on your way. I want a captive. Damn it. Oh, Sick is better than dead, lady. I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be over, gentlemen. You're gonna need all your money, my Let's friend. Quick. You got a big problem. You boys need me. Look, okay. No. You go you ahead sure and look for that? the baggage car. You show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. Quick, come on! Don't help me! Everything you got. Money. Valuables. Now. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get it ever since from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Why are you? What did I do? We're on the clock. C'est de la folie. Don't make me hurt you. Honey, now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cough it up, people. Don't be shy. Why do this? Everything you got. Let's go. Pay me what you got, mister. You won't get hurt. Get robbed, mister. Give me everything you got. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay! None of you What is it? You alright? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here after. <laughs> Gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Some decent stuff. Oh, oh. I'm gonna have a right out lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. I don't. Tennis rackets in there. Oh, 
Just keep your eyes peeled. When peeling me, best, all right? I know, that's what's worrying me. All right, we should probably be going now. Looking good in here. Come on, we should get out of here. These folks are rich, all right. We'll take that. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith! Get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now! There's only two of you, you fools! We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them turning up. Man, my big mouth. Okay. Let's deal with them.
<laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big tank. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Shit! Ah! 